<clears throat> oh, hi everyone, it's me, Jordan here, and did you ever make the mistake or an accident of assuming something when it was not right to assume? Now, everybody has made that mistake more than once, you know. You assume something, you're going to do something, and you realize that that wasn't the action you should have taken. Well, that happens to me a lot, but that's not what this video is about. This video is basically about not getting a well, deal, how I deal with disappointment. Now, many people deal with disappointment in many different ways, some mature way, some immature way. But... One of the things that I don't know how to ha one of the things I get upset over is if I'm trying to audition for a motion picture, a television show, or a commercial. Now you might say play, but normally Jordan said I, I usually don't stick to that form of acting. I mean, of course, when I was getting my acting major, I had to learn about all different forms of acting, of course, you know but I usually don't audition for plays but anyway Jordan said when people are casting for characters regardless of a motion picture television show or commercial or a play or whatever usually they have an idea what they want their character to look like now some people might say it's, it's racist it's discriminating no if it was racist or discriminating first they would have not even lit they would have not even let anybody show up and even try to get the part. Okay. I know there's some people out there that assume that's the case. Well, there you go again. It would usually be like this. Oh, sorry, Jordan. You're not what we. You're not what we want. Oh. S Here we go again. Oh, sorry, Jordan. You're not what we uh, were looking for. Well, what were you looking for? I mean, you just don't got the the look. We're looking for the character in this motion picture, you know. Sorry about that. And the funny thing is, Jordan said, and you feel disappointed. Kind of same way I think some people feel, well... That you and I feel disappointed. And how do I deal with it? I get upset. I get jealous. And if the motion picture shows up, I say, "Oh, that person took food out of my mouth, and I want it mute. I don't want to watch it." Which fast forward through it. Now you might say that's really immature of you, but it could be worse. And the same thing happens if I'm auditioning for that television show. It might go like this. Oh. We're sorry, you don't have that look, you know. The look we're looking for for this particular television show. I don't have the look, Jordan said. That's just great. Sometimes I get to, sometimes, and this is just me, of course, and people can elaborate and, you know, and tell me that I'm wrong for assuming this. But sometimes, Jordan said, I assume that since uh, I assume that it's always going to be a certain way. Now, you can tell if I'm wrong about this or not, but, you know, it seems like for so many people who get the part, there's so many that don't get it. Now, and then it usually goes down like this. Oh, I'm sorry, Jordan. We don't base it. We don't think you, you know, looked apart for this commercial. Sorry. Then I get upset. I go... They should have picked me. I'm more beautiful than that person. And if the television show, commercial, motion picture, whatever comes on, I'll say either, I don't want to watch it, turn it off, mute it, or fast forward through it. And then say how oh, that person took food out of my mouth. And I'm sure that if the shoe, or the sandal, or the flip-flop, or the, flip -flop or the boot, 
or a flipper was on the other person's foot, they would be unfortunately saying the same thing about me. So I guess it is kind of immature of me to. Well, it's not like I actually say that to their face or anything, but the fact that I even say it is pretty sad. Now, yeah. So that's about it for me. I'm Jordan. I'll see you later.